Hi right, guys, so welcome to another tutorial um, on uh, engineering drawing. Today we'll be discussing and introducing orthographic projections. Um, so I'll just briefly explain what orthographic projection entails, and then I'll show some examples. I will I will um, show how some um, symbols, the symbols of orthographic projections are and why they are and then I will give some solved examples already but these will be on in later videos so this video will be uh, a brief explanation on orthographic projections and we will start with first angle projection so I will start um, by giving a broad definition of orthographic projection and what it means so orthographic projection orthographic projection basically is um, trying to get a 3d image or 3d object to 2d but represented perfectly that um, if a designer or someone who wants to uh, produce a replica of that object needs to he doesn't have to get um the particular objects but she may decide to just use uh the orthographic projection of that Im of that object and produce the exact replica of that object so that's what orthographic projection entails just getting something like this getting this 3D box to become a 2D image. Into something like this. So that's what orthographic projection entails. So a designer and an architect, whoever wants to, a printer, may decide to use this to produce this in real life so i'll start uh, some basic um i should i say basic um, words that are used in orthographic projection okay so first we have we have two methods of producing a 2d um or, uh, 2d replica of an object and that could be first angle projection and second angle projection sorry third angle rd third angle projection so I'm going to start this video. It's going to basically basically be on first angle projection. So I'll start by explaining the symbol, what it means, and why it is. All right. So first angle projection basically is a is one method of producing a three D object in. Uh, in a 2D form. The symbol for first angle projection is this. This is a center line. These are projection lines, construction projection lines. So anytime you see this symbol, it signifies that that image, that object should be um, projected in first angle or is projected in first angle. 
So I'm going to explain um, how a um, first angle projection works and why this symbol. So I have here with me something I just quickly made up. This is just signifying um, the four quadrants that we have in a circle. So this is the first angle. Sorry, this is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. And first angle projection is based on an object being placed in the first quadrant here. So I have also a small object with me, the cap of a product. Um, I'm going to use this to explain this. So if you notice, you can see that um, this actually is uh, like a cone and uh, yeah, a truncated cone and uh, it's this. So let me just quickly explain and draw out quadrants. I'm going to take this first quadrant and let's say it is this. And I'm going to put it, this object in the first quadrant. Like this. If you turn, if you turn this uh, quadrant, we want to observe this object like this, right? So I'm just turning this this way. So we have something like this. This part that you are seeing is called the plane. So this is the vertical plane, this is the horizontal plane. When I place this object, it's touching both the vertical and the horizontal planes. Now, if we are looking in this direction, we can see the elevation of this object, which is this. And if we were to look down this way, we will see the plan of this object, which is this with this. Let's me. Do something like this. So if I were to look at the, I want to find out what the elevation looks like. I just simply look at what it's showing me from here. So I have an image that looks something like this. And as for the plan, if I look down, I have I have an in an upper circle here, which is this, and I have a lower circle. plus center line. So this basically entails this. So this is why we have um, first angle projection symbol to be like this. Okay, so the basic ways of, uh, or rather the, the method in which we draw uh, an orthographic projection of a 3D object is like this. Okay, first we have our planes. So we always have the front elevation here. And we always have the plan below the front elevation. This is first angle projection.
then we always have at the right side of our front elevation we have the left side elevation and on the left side of our front elevation we have the right side elevation now what this simply means is that when you are looking at your object and you want to get what the view of your object is when you look at it from your right side. So if this is my front elevation and I want to know how it looks like at my right side. So I want to know the view at this place, like looking from here. So what I do is, okay, let me, let me use this as a very simple example. And I'll, I'll be placing it on the, on the paper and you'll see how it looks like. Remember that this, um, these lines are just basically this. So I hope you can get this. Right? So it's just this and it's just this. Okay. So when we have this truncated cone placed here, This is my front elevation. This is plan. So I want to see my front elevation. It's all of this. This trapezoid. Okay, so if I want to now, so that's what I have. So let me just do that. Let me draw this at the background. Right. Then I want to figure out what the plan is. All I have to do is drop, drop this horizontal plane with this object on it. So, right. So we have that. So this is how we see the object from the top. So we have this inner circle and this bottom circle. So at the background too. Right. Then I'll take it back up. I want to see how my right side looks. So if I want to find this out, all I have to do is turn this. So you can see that it is now at the left side of our, our projection on paper. Although it's the right side view, but on paper it's on the left. So if I want to also see how, okay, let me draw this down. I want to see how this object looks like from here. How it looks like if I'm viewing it from here. And this is my left side of this object. So all I have to do is turn it this way. Sorry, let me do that again. I turn this and the object. So I have here. So you can see it's on the right side of my projection on paper, but it's on the left side on the objects. So that's basically why first angle projection is like this. Always remember that for first angle projection, we have the front elevation at the top, in the middle. We have the plan on the bottom. You have the left side view of your object on the right side of your paper and you have the left side view of the object. Sorry, let me say that again. You have the right side view of the object on the left side view of your paper. On the left side of your front elevation on your paper. And you have the left side view 
or the left side elevation. I think left side L uh, view is better. LSV, RSV. You have your right, left side view on the right side of your paper. So that's what I have for you today. I hope you finally understood why first angle projection is how it is. Thank you.